In this video I'm going to show you how to use and set up a mechanical timer switch. They come in two different forms. You've got like this one where the plug for the appliance goes through the centre of the timer and you've got one like this where the plug for the appliance actually goes underneath the timer. They work in exactly the same way. Quite often it depends what manufacturer you've bought it from. But also this one is a lot more compact than this one. So obviously it'll fit into smaller spaces. There's not a lot to these timer switches. You've got a few main elements. Obviously you've got the plug on the back that plugs into your wall socket. You've got the plug socket on the front here which your appliance will plug into. You've got your clock around the outside which is a 24 hour clock. You've got your arrows here which is what the time is at this moment now. So we're just a little bit before 2 o'clock. And you've got the switch on the side and the switch is down. The timer is on. When the switch is up the appliance is always on. So the timer will still turn, but the appliance will be on. If you want it to put it back to timing, so it only comes on when you've told it to, you pop that back down to timer. So how do we set the timer so the appliance comes on and off when we want it to? First things first, if the timer switch is plugged in the wall like this one, then make sure that the socket is turned off, because otherwise you may damage it while you're turning it. So like I've said, the clock is represented in 24 hour format by all those numbers right the way around. So that arrow, here indicates the time that it is now. Okay, so at the moment that's showing that it's 13.45 just about. So each one of those little segments all the way around there, each one of those dashes is quarter of an hour. And each one of these blue segments is also quarter of an hour. So you can actually set the timer at quarter of an hour intervals if you wanted. So when they're pushed in like those are along there, that means that the appliance will be on. When they're up, like those there, see, pull them out, that's when the timer is off. So currently this timer is actually set to be on for a full 12 hours from 7 all the way through to 1900, so 7 o'clock in the night. This is currently set for the light in our lizard's vivarium, but say for example you wanted to set this for another lamp to mimic, say for example, that you're home in the evening then what you could do is have it coming on and off every hour or so. So we'll say, if we just take that back round a little bit so you can see it better. So we'll start it at 5, so 5 o'clock on. Then we'll say from 6 till 7, it's off because the segments are out. Then we push down 7 till 8, so there's 4 segments there. If you only want to do it for a quarter of an hour you can. So we do it for at 8, then we turn it around a bit, then from 9 until 10, another 4 segments to represent the full hour. So now what we've got is it on, off, on again from 7 till 8, off again from 8 till 9, and on from 9 till 10, and then off all the way back round then. And I'll just speed up the timer with my hand just to show exactly how it works. So we'll plug the appliance in there. We'll turn the switch on. There we are, it's gone off. And then it come on again. Obviously I'm speeding this up just to show it for the purpose of the video. And then it go off again. And then I guess to there, it go on again. And then it's off all night. One thing to make sure is if there's a switch on the appliance, whether that be a lamp, Christmas lights, a lamp for your fish, a lamp for your lizard, whatever it is, that that switch is turned on, because if it's not, the timer switch is going to be useless. So that's it really. Just a few things to remember. You set the time that it is now by there, by the arrow. So that's, in this case, two o'clock in the afternoon. When a segment's down, that means it's on. When the segment's pulled up, that means it's off. And if you do want to turn the appliance on at any time, without the timer being on, you just put it on always on at the side. There we go, jobs are good in. If you liked the video or you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe.